So now that we know how to get data into the database, we need to know how to modify that data. This is where the importance of having that primary key really comes into play. The syntax to modify a record is update table set the column you're changing with the new value, where, and then an expression. The table is, of course, the table that you're updating the row in. The set column equals value is the new value you're setting into that column. You can also change several columns at once by separating each column equals value expression with a comma. The key to this statement is that where expression. This is where you specify the exact column you want to change. If you have a primary key and you only want to update one row, then the where expression would be where column equals value, where the column is the primary key and the value is the unique value that it is. If you do not have a unique value, you may want to have the where statement include several columns that would specifically identify the row or rows that you would want to affect. For example, here's a statement using our primary key. Now if I had a single column that I knew the first and last name were Mike Morton, I could also do update customer info set ship last name equal Mike where ship first name equals Mike and ship last name equals Morton and that might work as well. You can, of course, also update more than one row with this statement. The WHERE expression is used in both the update and select statement and is really the core of manipulating and retrieving data in MySQL. The WHERE statement operates to select and specify specific columns based on logical conditions, just like our PHP IF statements. Using AND and OR conditionals, you can isolate a row or a group of rows to be updated with values in the set part of the update statement, which we've done here. And we just, as we get the message, one row affected, one row matched, one row changed. Now the select statement is very similar to the update statement except that you're retrieving a row or a group of rows rather than updating. The syntax for the select statement is select columns from table where expression. This is a very basic select statement. The select statement can be much more complex, but that falls outside the realm of this course. In the select statement, the columns part can be specific columns or an asterisk if you want to select all columns. The table part is, of course, the specific table to select the data from. And the WHERE expression is a conditional statement that will isolate a specific row or set. So for example, if I wanted to select all of our columns, all of our rows that we've entered into our customer info table, I would do SELECT STAR, because I want all of the columns from customer info. No WHERE statement, because I just want all of the rows. And there we have each of the rows. 1, 2, and 3 with the data that we inserted into those rows. Now if I want to specifically just grab, say, the first one, I could add a WHERE statement. Select all from customer ID WHERE, excuse me, customer info WHERE customer ID equals 1 and I just get our one single row. If I just wanted to select specific columns, select ship first name, comma, ship email from customer info, I can get all of those, or again, specify with a where, three. And there we go, one single row with just two columns. One more thing that we can add to the statement is sorting. In a lot of cases when retrieving data, it is important to order the data that you're retrieving. So to the end of the select statement, you can add the following. Order by, column, and then optionally ascending or descending. The column part is of course the column name you want to sort by. The ASC is an ascending sort and the DESC is a descending sort. 
You can also sort by more than one column by separating each column and ASCDSC statement with a comma. So that would look like select all from customer info, order by ship first name. And in this case, it's all the same, but if we change that to descending, because it's ascending by default, we can see that now we're not in order, but we are sorted by our ship first name. The final part I'll tell you about in the next movie is how to drop information from a table and how to delete tables and databases.